Hi, I'm Arthelaine Rippey, extending an invitation to you to just hang out with me for the next few minutes. By doing so, you will learn something that could improve your health and forever change your life. Are you constantly tired? Was there a time when you had boundless energy? Do you suffer from one of the chronic diseases running rampant through our society? If so, the following information just might be exactly what you're looking for. Something old and wonderful has just become something new and improved. More than four decades have passed since the discovery of the miraculous healing combination of protein and flax oil. The legendary doctor and scientist Johanna Budwig discovered that this simple formula had a profound effect on blood cells vulnerable to disease. Since most chronic disease starts at the cellular level, many consider this a major scientific breakthrough. Enter Dr. John Young, founder of Young Foundational Health Center. Dr. Young's vast medical experience at home and abroad gives him an elevated status in the field of health today. Dr. Young reached a point of frustration in his career as the prevailing conventional wisdom in medicine was a tendency to just treat the symptom with medication, never getting to the root of the problem. This frustration led him to a detailed study of the work of Dr. Budwig. By taking this basic formula, Dr. Young added the powerful antioxidants of fruit of the spirit and essential minerals to establish the Young Power Shake. His goal was to rebuild his patient's overall health from the ground up, starting at the cellular level. Take a look at these inspiring statistics. Hal J, age 56, suffered from neuropathy of the legs and feet, and after seven weeks on the program, his symptoms have decreased drastically. Millicent M, age 67, was on several diabetes medications, and after nine weeks, she was taken off all of her medications. Tamara S, age 71, had severe hypertension and was taken off all of her blood pressure medications after just six weeks. These testimonies offer proof positive the value of this timeless formula. Isn't it time for you to live your life in better health? Just call that number on your screen and request this amazing old but new tried and true powerful health enhancer, the Young Power Shake. Call the number on the screen right now to request the Young Power Shake. For just $149.95, you will receive a month's supply of high quality protein, the special blend of flax and fish oils, those all important alkalizing minerals, and the amazing antioxidant mix of biblical ingredients, fruit of the spirit. Call now and receive free shipping on your monthly order. Start living your life in better health. Call now. Dr. John Young has enjoyed a diverse career in medicine that has taken him from the continent of Africa to more than a decade in the emergency rooms of America's hospitals. I recently had the opportunity to sit down with him to talk about his approach to medicine, and I found out why the word foundation holds the key to his practice. The, the reason why I kind of made a change in my practice from emergency room and just general family practice was this. I never got anybody better. I mean, yes, you had a sore throat, gave you antibiotics, you felt better. But when it came to the chronic diseases, diabetes, hypertension, COPD, emphysema, heart disease, I just kind of slowed your progress to death. You know, gave you more and more medicines and more and more side effects and treat those side effects. And I started reading, really, what did the old guys of medicine do for these diseases? And a good friend of ours, Deborah Ray, introduced me to some of the old guys through their writings and recordings. And I realized whether it was Myers at John Hopkins, Cathgard out at the Mayo Clinic, Clinner at Duke, Kaufman at Yale, they all laid a foundation. Whether you were male or female, heart disease, lung disease, diabetes, whatever, everybody got a foundation. And when I laid that foundation, 80% of what the patient came in complaining about was gone in about four to eight weeks. The other thing is, most of my patients come in saying, John, I'm not getting better. I'm slowly mm -hmm. getting worse, and I want off my meds. And so it just came about, if we laid a foundation, it made a huge difference in these people's lives. Okay, I can hear the viewers saying, oh, okay, what's the foundation? <laughs> what did you change? Well, uh, a couple things. One is I use Lugol solution, which is iodine, because iodine's a regulator. Heart, kidneys, uh, pancreas, thyroid, liquefies cholesterol, is a regulator. The other thing, though, which I think to me is the key, is I went back to the 1931 Nobel Prize in Medicine 
And they said this, when the oxygen in a cell drops below 35%, a cell doesn't function well. So how do you get more oxygen within that cell? You need to remake that cell membrane. And they did it with protein hidden in with flaxseed oil because it has the most double bonds per molecule. Wasn't it a lady doctor that kind of came up with that? <laughs> Dr. Joanna Budwig or Budwig. Mm -hmm. And let me say, it is not, people say Budwig, Budweiser, it is not sponsored by a beer company. No. This is Joanna Budwig. She won uh, 31, 33, and 34 Nobel Prizes in medicine. So, you know, with the team, and very, very smart lady. Can I insert just a little personal thing? Because uh, when I found out that you knew about that, Deborah Ray knew about it, I got, woo! Uh, when my daughter was diagnosed with cancer, I had a long trip before she had the surgery and all that. And I, so I took all these cancer books to read. And that, in, I was introduced to her in literature and uh, came home, marked up the books, gave them to her, and she has taken it ever since, and she's passed six years now. But this was the genesis, right? Right. Um, I put it this way, something old and wonderful has been new and improved because you've taken that basic concept, put it in the young power shake. Right. Tell us uh, how it has been improved through the years. Well, and we've actually talked to the Budwig Institute in Germany. Um, you know, Americans want a pill. Well, we could not do a pill. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we did is instead of cottage cheese or quark in Germany, about nine years ago, they came up with a way to make whey, W-H-E-Y, whey protein at 130 degrees. And that is just unbelievably key. Can you give us a little bit more detail on what that means? Well, most of the whey proteins that you buy out there at GNC or the local store, they are part of the cheese industry. So they're heated to about 200 degrees. Well, at 200 degrees, all your lactoferritins, all your immunoglobulins, all the good things of protein kind of go up in smoke. So when they came up with a way to do it at 130, you know, in fact, one of the insurance companies came to me and said, John, how come you can get most of our diabetics that we send you and most of our hypertensives off their meds and the others can't? Because if you know something about proteins, you can do that. So we had this access to this whey protein. Then we used the flaxseed oil like the Germans. Now, the interesting thing is people say, well, so you're just using a lot of protein. Well, you can do that, but the thing you have to remember is if you use a lot of protein, you have to neutralize all the free fatty acids. So we came up with something called AB, or acid base, which neutralizes all those free fatty acids. We mix it together in water or milk or almond milk, you know, whatever, and I started giving it to my patients. And here's what I would get after about five or six days. John. Am I supposed to feel more energy or, you know, I just feel better. Because one Is it in five or six days? Five to six days. Now, it wasn't like, you know, I'm all of a sudden, I'm 6'6 six, six now or mm -hmm. whatever. But it was like something is going on in my body. The other thing is when you use that much omega-3 oils, which flaxseed oil is, that is a tremendous amount of anti-inflammatory. The other thing we found with our patients is this. They thought they were eating healthy. You know, I'm eating organic oatmeal, you know, organic salads, mm -hmm. dolphin-free tuna, you know, my four ounces of range-free chicken at night. And I'm saying you weigh 150 pounds, divide by two is 75. I need 75 grams of protein a day. That is not high protein. So you're protein. not getting that from your little... No, you know, and that is not a high protein diet. That's exactly what the physiology textbooks are saying. So if I can get the protein and the oils in these people, boy, they really are getting better. And that goes to the cellular level where the life is. Right. Life is in your blood, isn't it? You know, th it is. That's and what I said to my patients is this. You know, whatever disease you have, it really doesn't matter to me. My job is to give you the best immune system, the best cell membrane I can give you. And when you do that, most of this all falls in the place. Some of that, you know, that really, really makes sense. I know also that your desire is to get your patients off as, as many pharmaceuticals as possible. I believe you told me once that you had one patient came in 29 different pills. I don't, I don't know how that patient walked in. But um, when they're introduced to the Power Young Shake, 
Young Power Shake. Young I got power. that wrong. Young Power Shake. Um, do you see s evidence that it's okay to remove this pharmaceutical, this pharmaceutical, this pharmaceutical? Well, what happens with a lot of them um, is they want to get off it today. Well, I saw you. I'm going to stop it now. I said, no, no, Even no, I know no, you no, can't no, do that. no, 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 no. <laughs> You know, we've got to get things going, build this foundation. And then I will see them back in about four weeks, and I'll say, you know, like, what are your blood sugars running now? Or what's your blood pressure? Well, why don't we cut this in half? You know, let's reduce the dose here. And it's just, you know, over the weeks and months, is just reducing the medications. And I say, you know, you don't even have to come back and see me. Talk to your regular doctor, because he's going to see, as you're better, well, maybe we should cut back on some of this. You know, as a television producer, many interesting books find their way to my desk. But none more surprising to me than to receive a sizable hard copy book just on the subject of inflammation. Perhaps you've noticed that much is said about inflammation today, but most of us know little about it. So I made it a point to ask Dr. Young about this seemingly common but very serious problem. Well, it's very interesting. If you look at a lot of the articles in medicine now, they're all talking about it starts with an inflammatory process. In fact, in uh, our local newspaper a few years ago, they brought out a discovery that the Australians have discovered they call it, I think, a substance P, which is the initial start of the cascade for the inflammatory process. And we've known for years, if you can stop this inflammation, and inflammation really is the key to a lot of these diseases. And so what I wanted to do was try to get to the root of the problem or try to get to the cellular membrane aspect. You can take flaxseed oil, you know, the capsules or the fish oil. But if you're doing that, that's fine, but it still is kind of violating basic physiology. In what way? Because to really use an oil, it has to be emulsified or hidden in a protein. The Eskimos, you know, they take in a lot of omega-3 oils, but it's in the fish that they eat. You cut open a fish, it doesn't drain out oil. The oil is hidden in the meat or the flesh, the protein. And this is what the 31 Nobel Prize said, Budwick's Nobel Prize, is you have to hide the oil in a protein if you're going to get the full anti-inflammatory effects and really remake that cell membrane. There's something that seems so right that uh, this wasn't something you got in a dream <laughs> or a vision, but it is built on very solid scientific foundation. But the more we uh, learn and grow and all, uh, you, can, you can make things better. You know, it's very interesting. When I first started out in the practice, I, I said, you know, I want to keep up to date. And so I said, <laughs> I'm going to- the next pill, right? Well, what I said was, <laughs> And here's an interesting thing, you know, where, and patients ought to talk to their doctors about this because, you know, as a Christian, the Bible is my Bible. Foundation. But, but if you're a car mechanic or a doctor, you have a Bible, you're kind of reference. Right. And I'm going out into practice, I'm thinking, what is my reference going to be? And I thought, you know, the New England Journal of Medicine, American Medical Association's journal. But as I started reading them, one month, this is the best drug to treat high blood pressure. The next month, it's another drug. There you go. So, I mean, I, I was crazy. I couldn't, well, what am I doing? And then I got so busy that I just said, well, wait, the drug reps, they're up on the latest. But I found, you know, in the morning, Julie would tell me to do this drug for this, and Nancy in the afternoon would tell me to do this drug. And I was just completely confused. So I said, where is it? you know, what can I do for my Bible that does not change? Textbook of physiology, mm -hmm. textbook of biochemistry, the 98, the 99, and the 31 Nobel Prizes in medicine. And that's basically what I've developed my practice on. 